Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Shaking Trailer. Back with another video. This time it is BDS speech at United Nations from the UNICEF channel. I think I got the right video. I'm super excited to check this out because BTS are not just an inspiration or a role model, but there's so much more than that. So if I had kids or and they were like they had BTS as role model, I would be actually pretty happy because uh, they're model people. They have manners. They're humble. They're just great people in general. Um, they send out the right message. They are pushing you to love yourself and do what makes you happy. And yeah, they're just they're just really really great people. So I would be happy in that case. I personally have been inspired by them and motivated and motivated by them in many areas in this like half a year that I've been following them, which is which is pretty pretty impressive. And they've grown on me so much that each day I'm I'm. I'm excited to, you know, check them out, watch them, learn more about them. So, uh, yeah, to be able to pull off a speech uh, at this stage is absolutely massive. And it just shows how how much the world can see about what they've done and who they are. It speaks so much about uh, their efforts because, you know, they're hardworking people and they push that. So... Uh, yeah, let's check this out. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General, UNICEF Executive Director, and all the excellencies and distinguished guests from across the world. Wow. My name is Kim Namjoon, also known as RM, the leader of the group BTS. It is an incredible honor to be invited to an occasion with such significance for today's young generation. Last November, BTS launched the Love My Sam campaign with UNICEF, building on our belief that True love first begins with loving myself. We've been partnering with UNICEF's In Violence program mm -hmm. to protect children and young people all over the world from violence. And our fans have become a major part of this campaign with their action and with their enthusiasm. We truly have the best fans in the world. They don't forget to show love to ARMY. I love that. I love it so much. Um, and when you think about it, he is so eloquent. He's talking in such a respectful manner. And, you know, you just you just want to listen to him. Keep on going. It's just so far. Wow. And I'd like to begin by talking about myself. I was born in Ilsan, a city near Seoul, South Korea. It is a really beautiful place with a lake, hills, and even an annual flower festival. I spent a very happy childhood there, and I was just an ordinary boy. I used to look up at the night nice sky and wonder, and I used to dream the dreams of a boy. I used to imagine that I was a superhero who could save the world. And in an intro to one of our early albums, there's a line that says, my heart stopped when I was maybe nine or 10. Looking back, I think that's when I began to worry about what other people thought of me and starting seeing myself through their eyes. Wow. I stopped looking up at the night skies, the stars. I stopped daydreaming. Instead, I just tried to jam myself into the malls that other people made. Soon, I began to shut out my own voice and started to listen to the voices of others. No one called out my name, and neither did I. My heart stopped and my eyes closed shut. So, like this, I, we, all lost our names. We became like ghosts. But I had one century, and that was music. There was a small voice inside of me that said, wake up, man, and listen to yourself. But it took me quite a long time to hear music calling my real name. Even after making the decision to join BTS, there were a lot of hurdles. Some people might not believe, but most people thought we were hopeless. And sometimes I just wanted to quit. But I think I was very lucky that I didn't give it all up. And I'm sure that I and we 
will keep stumbling and falling like this. BTS has become artists performing in those huge stadiums and selling millions of albums right now, but I am still an ordinary 24-year-old guy. If there's anything that I've achieved, it was only possible that I have my other BTS members right by my side, and because of the love and the support that our ARMY fans all over the world made for us. Wow. And maybe I made a mistake yesterday, but yesterday's me is still me. Today, I am who I am with all of my faults and my mistakes. Tomorrow, I might be a tiny bit wiser and better be me too. These faults and mistakes are what I am, making up the brightest stars in the constellation of my life. I have come to love myself for who I am, for who I was, and for who I hope to become. Wow. I'd like to say the one last thing. After releasing our Love Yourself albums and launching the Love Myself campaign, we started to hear remarkable stories from our fans all over the world, how our message helped them overcome their hardships in life and start loving themselves. Those stories constantly remind us of our responsibility. So let's take all one more step. We have learned to love ourselves. So now I urge you to speak yourself. I like to ask all of you, what is your name? What excites you and makes your heart beat? Tell me your story. I want to hear your voice. I want to want to hear your conviction. No matter who you are, where you're from, your skin color, your gender identity, just speak yourself. Find your name and find your voice by speaking yourself. I'm Kim Nam Jun, and also RM of BTS. I'm an idol, and I'm an artist from a small town in Korea. Like most people, I've made many and plenty mistakes in my life. I have many faults, and I have many more fears, but I'm gonna embrace myself as hard as I can and I'm starting to love myself gradually, just little by little. What is your name? Speak yourself. Thank you very much. Wow. I had chills and goosebumps throughout that whole speech. What an amazing amazing moment what a way to put out that message everyone you can't even hear anything everyone was as mesmerized as i was his speech was so eloquent uh he said the right things and what he's saying is so true he's promoting that kind of thinking that's why i love bts the message the message that they spread the message that they push out Yes, like you said, people make mistakes. People, you know, do things that they may regret. But it's still part of you. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't hate yourself. You shouldn't uh, push that out. Listen to yourself. Loud. Like he says, what makes your heart beat? What makes you, what makes you excited? What, what's your joy? Push that, and listen to yourself. And this is exactly what I was talking about. What a message he's putting out, and. He had me thinking a lot too about how I'm a very shy person and I've wanted to quit many times and I've actually quit in a couple of things because I have I have a problem uh, when when I'm talking in front of a in front, in front of an audience and you know I kind of black out I get I get like this anxiety attack or stage fright whatever you want to call it and you know it happens even when I record videos where sometimes, you know, at the end, sometimes I just end it abruptly. It's because I feel like my breathing is getting heavier and I'm, you know, freaking out because 
uh, I know people are going to be listening to me or looking at me. Or, and for a long while, I pushed that away and I hated that about myself. Um, the fact that I was so shy and the fact that, you know, I didn't want to be that way and I hated that part of me. But, you know, over time, I've grown to accept that, yes, I am still going to be a little bit shy. And it's, it's just part of who I am. And I'm not going to hate myself for it. Instead, I'm just going to, you know, like I said, grow wiser day by day. And it's still going to be me. It's still going to be that shy person from how many years ago. And everything you do is really part of who you are. So don't neglect yourself. Don't do not do that. It's, uh, it's kind of what I needed to hear, to be honest. And I was just talking about that situation with, with my mother, uh, who is better, thank you. But she's still not uh, recovered. She can't really uh, bend her back that well. But I was talking about that, how much I hated the fact that I was like that. So hearing this from Nam June right now is is really something that I think a lot of people need to hear. It's okay. And especially that part about looking at yourself through the eyes of others. Oh my God, I can't tell you guys how much I did that. Especially during... Uh, high school days you know I would do things and hope for things just so people would look at me in a certain way and I would like go into that not not anything bad of course I've never I've never done anything like you know uh, nothing no alcohol no smoking no none, none of that sort but still I would put myself in a position where I wasn't really comfortable and I didn't like it I didn't like it. It wasn't really me. But I would want people to, you know, I guess I guess accept me in a way. I don't know uh, where I'm going with this. But it's easy to fall into that trap. But eventually, I realized, you know, I am my own person. And I should make decisions that I'm comfortable with. And I should care about what I think before I should care about what other people think. Now, that's, you know, way easier said than done. But it's doable. Either way, that speech just, wow, it touched my heart, touched my soul. That's why he's the leader of BTS. What a way to represent your group. What a way to represent ARMY. He didn't forget to talk about ARMY either. So that is uh, really huge. But yeah, thank you guys so much. And I'm so glad I watched this. If you guys have any other interviews or speeches, I'm definitely going to check out his wise words because I know that there's a video about it. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, love yourself, uh, accept yourself, and uh, I wish you the best. All right, see you soon.